Hey, this is Syntec Tutorial. Um, this one's for level designers. So, for starters, we're going to make some alpha sprites. Alpha, meaning that sprites that aren't, aren't the real sprites, but are just just so you can put something in the game. So, you'll actually see something. Because sometimes it takes too long for them to make actual sprites. So, it doesn't really matter. Just give them all a color. And make... And I, Make sure they're transparent too. Okay, so I sped it up a little bit. Now we have four sp four sprites. These are two monsters. Monster one is going to be bouncing off the walls, but every time it'll be going, if it bounces on on the wall to the left, it'll then go to the right, and if it bounces on the wall to the right, it'll go to the left. Monster two is the same thing, only up down. SPR human is um someone who's we're going to control someone who's going to like move around the whole place and the SPR wall invisible I'll get to that later it's just more or less normal wall but then invisible so go into objects I guess this doesn't matter at all it's just make sure seeing as um when you're level designing um it doesn't you can't put sprites in the game, as put objects in the game. So we just need to make objects, and you press this button to give it a sign a sprite. Okay, so that's that. Not important how they look, just make sure they have a sprite. Okay, so now we're on to the room. Um, we want we want to make this room like kind of like an extra room here. So what we're gonna do is, well. You press settings tab. Well, first of all, let's change the name since it, this is the only room we're going to ha have to be working on for quite a while. Might as well give it more, a little bit more interesting, interesting name, but it doesn't matter. So, as you can see, the room's not big enough to fit another section. So, we're going to make it bigger. We're going to change um, the width from 640 to, let's say, 960. And we're gonna change the height from 480 to seven twenty. Now we're gonna go back to objects and we're just gonna create more walls. First of all we're gonna by right clicking we're gonna just take these walls away. And we're going to create more walls. As you see, it doesn't come out evenly. We know that these these walls use 32 pixels, 32 pixels by 32 pixels. So this is about half a wall. So if this was 16 more, that would be nice. So we'll just add 16 to that side to the height. So that'll be 736. Now you can see the whole wall. So back to objects. And keep making wall. Nice trick. No, if you hold and shift, then you can just hold the mouse button and go like this, of making each each one the individual like that. Okay. So now we're gonna add the objects right here. Okay. So we have monster one. This is the one that's gonna be going, that goes horizontally. So we'll put it here. So this will be constantly bouncing to that wall, then back, then back, then back. We can add, let's let's add more because otherwise it'll be a little too easy, I think. So there we have a few like that. Then we have monster two. These going vertical. So we'll put just a few of those like that. There. Now the human we also want to add. And we have a human. Now, as you can see now, the clown. We're going to add, be adding more sections to this in further tutorials, so we don't really want the clown going around everywhere. So, this, we're going to use wall invisible. The programmer, the programmers will have um, programmed it to not be visible. So, even though you can see it here, when you start playing the game, you won't see it. So we'll just make it along here. 
so this way the clown we're going to program the clown's going to be programmed to not to bounce off this invisible area just as it would bounce off a normal wall so this is a fairly short tutorial level designing isn't really very hard until you get to on 3D rooms because then then it's probably one of the hardest things but still a lot more to know this index tutorial hope you understand a little better